first thing it's going to say Skyless Valve Developer Community. Go to that guy. It will come up. Make sh choose one 3D s one Skybox that you really like. For example, I'll choose Skyday 22. Select Skyday 22. Copy it. Go back to Hammer Editor. Go to Map, Map Properties, Skybox Texture Name. Select Italy and put in Skyday 22 or whatever Skybox one you want. Hit Apply. Close it. Now go up to your light environment. Double click on it. Go back to your internet and it's going to tell you an example of what the ideal brightness should be. You can you choose that one unless you want to make your own. So click on all that, copy it, go back, go to brightness, select all that, under brightness, paste it with your new brightness settings. Go to ambient, go back to your internet, choose the ideal ambience for that one, select it, control C, copy it, go back to ambient, select all that that they've told you, Control v apply. Now also, the little circle, the black circle on the top, tells you which direction the light environment, this is basically what the sun is going to be in your map, is facing. As you see, it's facing the wrong way. It's facing outside the map. So turn it around according to the bird's eye view and make it point towards what your, where your map is going to be. Change pitch. Pitch is what the angle of the sun is going to be. Change it to about point, about negative 4 5, negative 45, that's going to be like 45 degrees downwards towards your map, hit apply, close. Now you have your skybox and your 3D skybox already figured out. Now what you are going to do is create your map. Basic and simple, I'll just do something random. I'm going to click on my entire map. As you see it's still grouped, which can be a little annoying, but it's convenient. I'm going to ungroup it by hitting control U, or you can go up to Tools, Ungroup. So as you see, I now I can select the select the bottom of my map. What I'm going to do is in the side view, make it deeper. So as you see, I pulled it down. In my top view, I'm going to click the clipping tool and create like a ravine. So make sure that it's white on both sides. If not, click the clipping tool until it's white. Create a little crater in the middle. So as you see, just this guy is cut out. Now if you want to make it all nice and pretty, click on the two outside pieces with control and drag them upwards until they're only a little slither, sliver. Now you just have this guy that's sticking out and what you can do is hit control H with 12, click on it again, hit control U now you can delete the top part. So as you see, you've created a little ravine. These guys are a little bit down, but I kind of like that. So what I'm going to do is now put textures for the middle. We'll put a dirt. Browse dirt. Give it some sort of dirt. Apply. Usually it's nice to make the bottom a different color dirt, just so you can see the difference. So as you see like that, and then just to give it a little dimension, click on these guys, change the texture to something different, I don't know, maybe a sand. That works. Or actually, let's change it to a brick, just to give it a little color. There you go, as you see, like that. Now they have an obstacle in the way. What I'm going to do is click on the very bottom one and holding control or holding shift, drag it up so now I duplicated it. So now you have something that's the same shape and size. Make it a different sh size, like so. Make sure it's not edging out like this. Click on it. And then I'm going to change it to a water. Control or shift A, browse, put in water, give it whatever water you want. Hit apply. Um, okay, that's a pretty good water. Click, make sure you click on the water. Hit control T. Tie the entity func underscore water underscore analog. Hit apply. So now it will actually have the properties of a water. Um, okay, now I'm going to create some crates. They can be tall, tall crates if you want them to be. 
or small, whatever. Hit enter. Okay, now we've got a crate. It's pretty huge. Shift A, browse, crate. Click crate size. You like apply it. Make sure you hit fit. So now it will be the correct size. Okay, there we go. We have a crate. It's been fitted. Now you can control shift A and drag a bunch of these around in the bird's eye view. Now you have a bunch of obstacles. So as you see, now you have a bunch of obstacles making sure people can't spawn kill right away. And as you see, our only um, issue now is you have no way of getting across the map, across this ravine. Um, we'll create a piece of wood that spans across. You can create this however you want. I'm just going to make it into a block, like so. Hit enter, shift A, browse wood. Make it whatever texture you want, like that. Now you have a piece of wood going across, and then you can click on it, control T, make it funk breakable. Make it so the strength is maybe like 45 or 50, so people can shoot it a bunch. And the material type is wood. Hit apply. Now in the bird's eye view with it selected, you can hit, hold on shift and create a bunch of these pieces of wood. Like that. So now people have a bunch of ways of going across and they can be broke, broken. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to compile the map. I'm going to go up to File, Run Map, and then, oh, you're going to have to save the file name, so I'll call it GG underscore awesome map. Hit save. Now your settings should be under Run Map. Run BSP normal, run viz, I find viz takes a while, so just hit fast, run rad normal, don't run the game after compiling, hit OK. Now it should take not too long because it is a very straightforward map. So now you're going to pull up the console in Counter-Strike, put map, gg, awesome map, or whatever you call it. It's going to take a few seconds for the map to load. Okay there. As you pull up your map, you will see we have these sweet obstacles. Our skybox is looking good. And not only is our skybox looking good, so is our 3D skybox. You can see those giant buildings in the background. If you want, you can have it so it doesn't have these fences blocking it, so you can actually see like the ground outside of the map. But it's up to you. It's up to your creativity. Obviously, our light environment is casting some really nice shadows, making it look like a realistic map. It's always nice to have a pitch, so it's like hitting it downward so you have these great long shadows and make sure that the brightness in the light environment is different than the, the ambient is in the light environment. So now as you see we've got these pieces of wood you can shoot them, they break, you can jump into the water and the water works. As you see you can't really get out of the water at this point so you can either create some ladders or you can make it so the water is toxic. So you can add a, uh, a trigger that is a uh, trigger health, or whatever it is. I forget what it's called. Anyway, enjoy making some maps, and thanks for watching.